Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a portable battery box or crate for use with a kayak or a boat. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the exterior view of my battery electronics box. Looking at the front, you can see where the quick connect comes out and runs through the through hole adapter and I will include the video for that tutorial in the narrative section and then there's the bungee that holds the top lid down which is also doubling as an extra storage spot with the bungee on top and then inside a waterproof electronics box I have the LifePo battery monitor coming around to the side here and on the back you can see I have the quick connect for my trolling motor which runs up to here and there and the control for the trolling motor runs down here it's a wired remote and there it is right there and I have it attached to the rail using one of the existing 1032 nuts that's inside the rail and I will include the build for the motor as well so I guess what I'll do now is open up the interior of the box as you can see I've opened the lid and I have a little stainless steel cable that keeps it from falling all the way back and as I get closer you can see inside I have my 12 volt 100 amp hour light time mini battery and all my connections there and then what I have here is a 60 amp circuit breaker that runs directly off the battery and then from the battery it's gonna run around over here to my relay which is going to be one of the wiring that goes out through the front here through the hull and that is going to come out in the center section of the front part of the kayak in the front pod is where I mounted the magnetic kill switch and this is the area where the tool magnet used to be and I'll show you how I mounted this this is the underside of the front section of the pod and this is the little section where the tool magnet was and you can see that there's four screws here and so once I undid the four screws this cover plate comes off and there's a piece of foam and the magnet sits in there so I just popped it out and then I drilled the hole for my kill switch and dropped it right in and I ran the wiring down through here around this hatch so the bag would still fit and then down into here and I'll show you a close-up of that where I have my marine fuse box this is a view from inside the pod here on the left is a waterproof gland nut that I use to run the wiring from the battery box through the hull into this area now because there's no hull access to use the nut on the back of this what I did was I cut the hole a little bit smaller than what the gland nut needed, put some marine goop around the edge of it, and then press fit the gland nut in there, and now it's nice and secure. So the three wires coming out, one is from the positive of the battery, and the other is from the negative of the battery, and that goes to the marine fuse box. The third wire is coming off the relay pin 85 the negative and then that's coming and connecting to my magnetic kill switch and then I completed that circuit by running the magnetic kill switch negative to the negative post on the marine fuse box then I also added this USB and type C charger it has its own little on off switch and then I've got five extra circuits left that I can install on this fuse box if I want to add a fish finder or other electronics.
Okay, so the last thing I want to do is go ahead and power up the motor and show you that the kill switch works. And that's it. Works like it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.